Before we get started with the slide item, we're going to need a little bit of context here. So let's say Q dash list, and then inside of that list, we'll have a Q dash slide dash item. Now inside of here, we put the item for the item inside of that list. So for example, Q dash item, and then a Q dash item dash section. And what will I do in here? How about we have an avatar? So Q dash avatar, we'll set the color equal to blue, and then I'll give it a text dash color equal to white. And then I'll put an L inside of this avatar. And there we go. We've got an avatar ready to go. Another thing I'll do is I'll come to this list and make sure we can see it properly by saying boarded. Now we can see the list. And then I'll say style is equal to min width of 350 pixels, just so it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit wider and we've got more room to play with. Okay, so now I've got this pointer on my mouse, but if I try and slide left or right, nothing happens. And that's because Quasar needs a little bit more information about what's going to show when we slide left or right. So let's come in here and we'll say template, and then I'll say hashtag left. And this is going to be for, of course, the left side. And then inside of there, I can just write the text left, and let's do the same thing for right while we're at it. Right, and then the text right. Save it, and now I should be able to slide to the left and right. Oh, <laughs> and the reason this isn't working is because I put these templates inside of the list, I should put them in the Q slide item. So I'm going to select those, hold Alt, and then press it down so that I can move them into the Q slide item. And there we go, now they work. However, if I let go, notice that it gets stuck on this section here. And that's because we need to tell Quasar to reset these slide items once we're done sliding them. So for example, if you're doing some sort of work on the back end, you might want to wait until the work on the back end is done and then reset the slide item. Or you might want to wait till the work on the back end is done and then actually completely delete the item. So let me just show you how we can do this. We'll come up and we'll say at left and we'll also have an at right. And then let's have a function here called side slide scrolling down let's go ahead and create these functions now function side slide and oh hang on i've put these on the list i did the same thing again so let's cut those and paste them on the q slide item <laughs> right i've made that mistake twice now so it must be something that's common make sure you're putting these on uh on the right component there so come down here and then let's just console.log what we get. So I'll say details and we'll accept that as a parameter. Open the console here and let's see the result that we get. All right, so it looks like all we get is a function that we can call, a reset function. And calling that reset function is basically going to bring us back to the original state of the item. So let's close this out and simply call that function. So we could probably just yank it out like this, reset. And then we can just call it. Let's try that. And there we go. It sends us right back again. So that's good to know. Now, I kind of have a half done example here. So I'm just going to throw some text in there. Come in and say Q dash item dash section. And then we can put, how about my name? So we'll say Q dash item dash label. Luke Diebold. And then maybe we can just say that I'm a contact, for example. And since this is going to be a subtitle, we'll say subtitle for this label. Or I think the word is caption. Yeah, there we go. And I want to tell this that it is an avatar so that the layout corrects itself. And then I can say class is equal to text dash right here. All right, that's a bit better. So you can imagine this is maybe a contact that you can delete or maybe like archive or call, something like that. Now let's see if we can make this a little bit richer. So rather than having the text left, let's have text and an icon. So I might come in here and say Q dash icon, and the name of that icon will be equal to done. There we go, let's see how that works out. Yep, we get a done icon there. And then let's copy this icon, paste it down here. And for the right side, we'll make it a delete icon. There we go. And since that's delete, we probably want this to be red. So what we can do is come down here and say, right dash color and set that equal to red, save it. 
and there we go, it comes out red. And of course we have the same for the other side. So we can say left dash color and set it equal to something like blue. All right, pretty cool. And then I might just call this done and call this delete just to make the example a bit more complete. Yeah. All right, what else can we do? Well, we can also watch the sliding item as it is sliding. So we've got left and right here, but we can say at slide. So as it's sliding across, we can actually check the state. So how about we say here on slide, and we'll just spit out what's available here so you can see what's possible. Function on slide, and we'll just pull the details out and then console.log them. Console.log those details, save it, jump into full screen, open the console, move this across a bit, and now you can see that we get information saying that it's sliding to the right. We can see the ratio of how far it's slided and then whether or not it is reset. So we've got that extra little bit of information just in case we want to, for example, change the color. So maybe you would change the opacity depending on how far it's slided along. That might be something that you want to do. So you've got that flexibility available to you. All right, what else can we do? Well, the last thing I want to show you is that you can actually slide up and down as well, which is insanely cool. If we come up here, we've got left and right. Let's change them to top and bottom. And then we'll change these to top and bottom. And we might actually do the same for the colors as well. Top and bottom. <laughs> right. Let's save that. And just to make it a bit clearer what we're doing here, how about we make this a little bit higher as well? So I'm thinking we come into the item and we say style is equal to a height of maybe 150 pixels. Yeah, there we go. And now if we slide this up, we get delete, and down, we get done. And the colors, I've messed the colors up a little bit here. So let's say top color is blue, and then we'll say that the bottom color is red. And there we go, delete and done. How cool is that? So that's Quasar's Q slide component. Really simple and amazing functionality that you often need in apps, especially when you're working with mobile. So this is really good to know about this component. So have a play with this one, maybe use it in your next app, and I'll see you in the next video.